Well, it's good to have everybody with us today. Welcome in Gallahorn. Good to have you and good to have Unified. Unified meets uh, Gallahorn. The Gallahorn is a recent, I don't know, probably I guess the best term would be affiliate of the Tau Alliance. We just a few weeks ago signed signed a friendship agreement with them. And Unified is a longtime uh, close ally of Northfield that we've been working with for about for over a year now, actually. Yeah, it's going on two years. Stuff. It's yeah. pretty yeah. crazy. It's actually pretty wild. I think uh, this has been a, a, a fruitful partnership that we've embarked on. So, uh, Gallahorn, much appreciated. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Captain Gray. I got my XO in here, Flex Bowman, my uh, Chief Medical in here, Mr. Vermin, my Wing Commander here, Mr. Noah, um, a lot of my other crew in here, Lost AI, Niram, um, Galandari. Uh, very professional and effective crew. So if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll just quickly, I know most people probably don't know Joel. Uh, obviously me, Ian, I'm one of the uh, heads of Gallerhorn. And then Joel is, uh, he leads uh, all of our cargo stuff, all of our, a lot of our industrial stuff. So yeah, we're very excited to be here. It's our first uh, real event with Northfield. Absolutely. Is he a quartermaster? Supply guy? Yeah, said, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Yes, essentially a quartermaster. Yeah, uh, that is, yep, that's how I would define it. Well, that's what I did in the army. So nice to meet you. There you go. <laughs> Another quarter, quarter master, absolutely. All right. Um, for the Unified Federation, um, you guys have your orders as far as comms and everything. So um, the order target uh, priorities will be disseminated from Captain Vinku uh, and then be disseminated down through the drivers and the gunners. So uh, please mind that. Any other updates will be submitted over Manifest and uh, SRS. Uh, I'm just assuming that me and Joel will just fall under the, you know, taking order of, and we'll just be an individual tank under that group. Uh, Correct. Yeah. One of us. Okay. Yeah. So you guys, you guys are in first squadron. Uh, I'm. I will be the commander of first squadron. Uh, no Lear is going to be my driver, and so we're all of us in this channel are going to operate as as a squadron. We have two other squadrons. We are going to. We are the largest squadron, so we have the most tanks. So we'll kind of be, I guess, the the central uh, group. Then we have another another smaller group of Novas, and then a a third group, which is our kind of uh, recon and or assault uh, strike package. Awesome. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get our birds in the air and okay. uh, make sure we're all saddled up so Sounds that we good. can. Uh... Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. So we'll just shoot me a message and we'll, uh, we'll coordinate our... Uh, tr vehicle selected. Stand by. <laughs> all the, all the hangers silent. are full. <laughs> all of our spaces are currently... Your please visit us again. Goodbye. Probably pulling out like 10, 15 C2s at the moment. Goodbye. Between both teams. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Welcome. Welcome. Definitely the uh, one of the largest parties I think I've ever been in. I don't know about anybody else, but yeah, we're at forty-six. We I think something like this. Yeah. yeah. All of our landing areas are currently full. Please hold for assignment. Hey, uh, Platinum, so with our numbers, it's looking like Frontier is sitting at about 29, and we're sitting at 21. They're wondering if we want a, a couple people from them to try and balance things out. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, that's kind of a decent chunk right there. Uh, 
me a second real quick. Let me do some math. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Tell them to bring another 10 guys and it'll be a fair fight. So my math puts that at three additional tanks, possibly even four if they solo a tank against us. Um, it's your call, man. I mean, we could just try to wing it. Uh, it it's just going to take a lot longer to set up if we have to go through that, because they're going to have to join and figure out where we're putting them and all that. All right, now we're just here. Perfect. So they said they could send, they would be willing us to send us four people, which would balance out the numbers, then it'd be 25, 25. Uh, I'm game, let's do it. All right, sounds good. Uh, I will, I'll coordinate that. Line together. Um, I, I don't know who I'm flying with. I don't know who's tank I'm gonna be gunning in either. Oh, well you're in line. Hangar 10. Hangar 10? Okay, thank you. Just confirming, no leader. You're you're on board and ready to go. Okay. You're taking off. Hey, yo, cast. Good. Uh, I'm gonna send you down to Opscoms. Links. You're going to be pairing up with our strike package and you're going to be driving a storm. Okay. So you'll be you'll be a thug in platinum in that group, so I'll drag you down there. Okay. But it's good to have you. Well, thank you. Okay. Uh... Okay, on. Thank you. Are you our party lead? I am, yeah. Out Outcast has joined in. Invite has been sent. Thank you.
All right, everyone, uh, Draken is already nearing the operational location, so they can just jump right to Draken. Correct, that's where you jump Draken, into. Draken. And then from there, you're going to want to be looking for Draken Van Gorich. He's essentially out at our spot already. Uh, Platt, can I get a confirmation that Drac is at our assembly area too? I don't believe he's at the assembly area, but he's in the operation zone. We're going to have to find the assembly area from there. Alright, good copy. Should we, one thing at an ask, should we just hop in the C2s that are at PT, or should we just go ahead and go to the location in our own vehicles if we've got them? Uh, do you have, is your C2 loaded? Uh, I'm not bringing, I'm not bringing any. Okay, then, then you can bring whichever, uh, whatever you okay. need to get here, yeah. Uh, Joel, I'm at Hangar 10. Vinku, I think that I'm on center right now. Also, Outcast didn't accept that party invite. Can you resend another one to her? Can do. Sounds good.
Alright, most of 3rd Squadron is inbound, just a few minutes here. Can I... Yes, I can. I've got you. We are all good. Can I confirm Draken's still at the assembly area? Mm, uh, we're... Rabbit should be kind of on center. We're trying to verify right now. Give us a little bit of time here, but go to Rabbit. Platinum Rabbit. Copy that. The trend is... Dragon's here with me. All right, welcome in, guys. Thank you, thank you. Uh, um, like a suspicious Yeah, we're just hill. we're That's getting set point. up. We're working on finding our assembly area. It's very center. cloudy you, out you here. You might need to come take a look at it. It so doesn't look to see. like identical uh, to the map they have, but it's the only raid. Yeah, that let I have me. Here. You're probably gonna end up in a different channel than this one. We have a few uh, a few channels going on, different squadrons. So. Um, once we, once we find our assembly area, then I'll, we'll coordinate that. Uh, Rabbit, can you repeat? I believe I'm right over the center. It's kind of hard to tell, though. I'm just gonna heat some coffee. Okay, sounds good. All right. Uh, told let's them see. This is the perfect uh, opportunity, opportunity for me to kill him. So. Kinda looks like the hill at grid H two. Yeah, I'm still trustler. Uh, what hangar? Uh, not in the hangar. Well, I believe I have oh, their no, no. uh. M2. Oh, no problem. Uh, just about sure. 17 Jump clicks to our 65 degrees. Hangar 9. So, from my position, I think we need to turn south southwest, and there should be a little area behind these mountains that we go to. We are currently trying to find our assembly area, so you can just kind of stand by for now. Um, I think we'll, you'll probably be looking for Platinum Rabbit. Sky and Panda. Well, I'm Vinku, send like you I said, I'm not sure this party little hill here. thing is center, but I'm gonna have uh, Jeremy Bartowolf uh, sit on it while I go I look to not. our southwest. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Is that you? Nice. Then let's go together. Go together. Okay, come. Join the elevator. Okay. Take your point. Take your raptors. Is that a custom year or is it just you bought it in the store oh, because you might die? Uh, just store. Okay. I don't really, I do more uh, logistics. Yep. So. Okay, hey, thank you. I, I think I found our spot. Good copy. Inspected by parking sky. Uh, Vinku, the grid at the top left corner of grid hey, who number I, uh, D8. Down to the 
there's a little like raised area, the very top left corner of the eight. I'm right above that right now. All right. Okay. Uh, sorry, can whoever asked that can repeat? No, you're good. Yeah. Um, because we're flying our own ship. Yeah. Uh, who should I be looking for to follow down? All right. Yeah. So just got confirmation. Everybody head in and follow Platinum Rabbit. He is working his way towards our assembly area. Perfect. There's so many Hercules. It's wild. Yeah, V, this is this is our spot. It's identical to the map. Platinum Rabbit's on, on Assembly 2. Good copy, thank you kindly. Rabbit, recommend uh, you go ahead and land and then we'll kind of form landing around you because we've got a lot of big ships all really getting close together. Yeah, I, uh, I confirm. I'm going ahead and touch it down. There's a lot of flat land over here, so I'm going to kind of spread it out. Platinum, when you land, can you just make sure your nose is facing <laughs> center? Will do. All right, so Platinum is landing. Feel free to land, I'd say, behind behind Platinum, so it's the rear of Platinum ship. And his nose is going to be facing towards the, the center of the AO. So when we once we start rolling out, uh, that will be the direction we're generally heading, whichever way his nose is pointing. All right, I my nose is exactly northeast now, so that's going to be our our marker. I'm gonna park a little bit. I'm not right beside, but. That way, we... oh, there's so many big ships. So we're down. Oh, the rock. Oh, come on. Top of that. Alright, no Lear, we are landed. Feel free to disembark. Roger that. So, Platinum, I have three from Frontier sitting in my party. I'm guessing my suggestion would we move them the to second? Third, yeah, yeah, put them, put them both in third under uh, Wookiee's command. Oh yeah, third, yeah. This is so cool. Rabbit's Fury disembarked and standing by for boarding. Alright, uh, so Frontier guys, welcome in. I'm going to move you down to a different uh, voice comms. You guys are going to be in our, uh, we've titled it Third Squadron, and your team lead. Hi, Slam. Uh, your team lead is going to be Ubiquitous Wookie is the name. Um, so I'm going to drag you guys down to that channel. Thanks uh, thanks for joining us, and thanks for be willing to uh, change sides. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, all good fun. Hey, let's try to form up the tanks kind of together here. Is uh, anybody going to be streaming yet? I'm not going to be streaming. I am recording, though. I'll go down to 
Ops uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take yeah, the join, join with them, guys, yeah. so everyone can form up making a wedge formation on Platinum Rabbit's tank. Okay, so we're making a wedge formation forming up on Platinum Rabbit. Just to get started, we'll, we'll disembark from there, but, uh, let's see. No, later you can come in and grab this, uh, tank in the back. And... Uh, Galahorn, once you're here, look for me, and you can take the Nova, the, like, olive green Nova at the front. Okay, this is Thug, I'm gonna take that storm. Good copy, it's all yours. Oh no, I'm falling out, oh, okay. Ooh, someone's got the Invictus C2, nice. Thank you. If anybody needs an extra storm, I parked it in front of the Pisces that's landed. Alright. Uh, yeah, normally I'm just gonna come hop on board. Alright. Do you want driver station or gunner station? I will take a uh, gunner since, yeah, since I'm kind of coordinating people here, so. Uh, we better get some screenshots of all of these for today, though, because it's insane. Yeah, so be advised we have about 15 minutes till start X, so still got lots of time here. Alright, I am on board and set. We can go form up with the rest of the guys. We can be we can be a rear for now. Yeah.
squadrons ready. We had a couple people who needed to hit the Pisces, but we're warming up over now. Here for we're ready. <laughs> Copy that. Um, uh, we are going to... Uh, uh, standard. Uh, we're going to form three columns, front, which is just a single a file line. You can kind of... Uh, uh, so it's the M2 that's matter. kind of parked uh, behind everybody for else. For most of and our trip out a, there, it's kind all of the fastest way to go. Uh, once we get to a more open... But honestly, if you find one that you can get into, then nobody's in it, just take that one. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, once we get to a more open area past these tree lines and get to a point where we might actually engage, uh, 86 Strike Package will take a wedge formation with our storms, and 3rd uh, and 1st Squadron, you guys can go off in, your, in separate directions, probably left and right around us while we go center. Uh, well, uh, well, we stick center and, and continue going straight north, uh, northeast from this position. You guys are going to kind of veer off north and east and then try to get back going the same direction we are while you're now maybe a click away from us, if you're following what I'm saying there. Sounds like you'd like us to sort of pincer and uh, take the flanks as you take the center. Correct. Uh, we got the, the storm, so we're going to be pretty quick. Uh, I, the idea is to use our storms as kind of a bait, and they're they're pretty mobile. They're going to be kind of hard to hit, use their speed to our advantage. Well, you guys take the flanks and then start shelling the hell out of them. Probably a good chance that they're doing something very similar, though, so this might just wind up being a, uh, a tick-for-tack kind of shot here. But I, I'm not really sure what else to do because there's just not much in the way of like buildings to hide behind. We can use hills for cover, and that's going to be on you guys to decide as you, as the leader of your squads to figure out which hills you're going to take and what you're going to hide behind and such. Clean copy. Uh, third squadron will plan on taking the north northwest flank. If uh, first squadron's okay with taking that sort of uh, southerly uh, north northeast. Yeah, good, good copy. Um, I would recommend I to yeah. just a little bit further than one kilometer away. One Let's, kilometer is uh, fairly close. Let's switch to the Nova VOIP channel so that uh, when yeah, I'm to I'm going to have uh, my, my driver pull forward a little bit. I want third squadron see, on my see, left see, and we, first squadron on my right. Point, you guys so can be in a column no, or a... Uh, like a, a staggered column, but be in be in that area and be all together for this. Clean copy. All right, so uh, stand by for orders. The current plan is our A6 strike package is going to be pushing up the center of the map. Uh, they're going to be our fast force, try and draw some fire spot targets. Third squadron is going to be on their left, so the north side of them as they push up. And we, third squadron, or sorry, we're first, and we are going to be on the right, so the east or southeast of um, the 86th. And we're going to be taking that yeah, side, kind of providing a, a total uh, a pincer movement with 86 out in front, and then first and third flanking on either side. And so once once 86 here pushes up a little bit, if we can move our column off to the right hand side and set up in a standby, we're gonna go for a uh, we're gonna do a left flank uh, tactic. So uh, we'll put our we'll put no Lear at the front, and then everybody will be staggered off to the left of our lead tank. If you want to, like, maybe 200 meters to the right of uh, Platinum Rabbit, uh, Barta Wolf, Douglas. Yeah, we'll be in lead. Uh, if we can 
head further to the right a little bit by maybe 100 meters or so to the right, just so we have some space. Yeah, that's good there. And then everybody else, for now, let's just single file column uh, on the lead tank. And then as we're moving, we'll switch into a, into a left flank. Which just means everybody's staggered off to the left of the tank in front of them. Broadcast from Vancouver. Form up on lead tank. Column formation. And we are seven minutes until op start. your own column to our left. Yep, no, I'm sorry, we're ready. We're just curious when, when everything's going to get moving. Yeah, oh, uh, 15 point, after uh, the hour, yeah, so four more minutes. That. Sorry, 45 after the hour. Yeah, so if I can have all unified tanks formed up behind our tank here on the right hand side please guys when we do start moving here feel free to start uh, spreading out a little bit from from our column we don't want to be too close together but we do want to kind of maintain visuals right, on uh, each other line we're line just going to keep moving uh, straight no as possible. Or you guys you. can decide where we're you go time. and how far away you get depending on your own Perfect, terrain that's your call to make uh but once we get pretty close to the center that's where we really want to veer off and split up into three pretty distinct groups uh bowflex i just sent you a message with a very quick hand drawn um, on top of the map so we're going to be the orange line, so on the right flank of our force there. Probably end up a little bit further to the right if possible, but that's that's the, the basic idea. Uh, yeah, okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, perfect. Uh, first is set up to the right and ready to roll. Federation. All hands, yellow alert. Last check for battle station readiness.
Alright, uh, Venku, it's go time. Are we, uh, we good? First is good to go. I'm just confirming with OP4. That's good. Wookie, I stepped on you there. What were you saying? Third is good to go. Copy that. Stand by. Uh, sir, if someone had a question for me, can you repeat, please? Are we currently facing north? We are currently facing northeast. And so, yeah, once we once we start, we're gonna be, yeah, so we're gonna be kind of circling out to the our right a little bit, and then so heading a little bit more east, and then turning back more northeast. So we keep about a a, a three kilometer, maybe a little bit more spread from that. Uh, 86 in the center. Oh, it's just an accident. Yeah. Stand by. So I do have eyes on one of their ships about 13 kilometers ahead of us, so that should give us kind of a good indicator for the direction that they're coming from. So technically we are start time, but I've not had confirmation from the other team, so we're still on standby. Hopefully it should start soon. Sorry, that was one of our guys' noise. Okay, no problem. So we're just on standby. Technically it's start time, but we're waiting to hear confirmation from the other side. Lear, would you be able to do you see that uh, radar spike in front of us at 13 kilometers um, I do not see it okay no problem so if you did I was gonna ask you to just uh, target pin it but sorry Uh, 
uh, from the driver's seat. As the pilot or co-pilot? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm in the turret. I'm in the cannon. The Slayer cannon. I don't know if you hey, can. Uh, quick reminder. Right now, I think you can only access them from the driver the and the co-pilot seat. I don't think the turret has access to missile mode right now. I could be wrong. Okay. Well, I just wondered because it spins around with the whole turret. Right. It would make sense. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. Yeah, I tried the co-pilot seat too, and I couldn't get missiles to work very well. Yeah, they're not they're not very cool. effective anyways. So you have to be this is because of the minimum range that they have, and typically you don't see ground vehicle radar spikes within that minimum range to make them worthwhile. But okay, they're good for confusion. That's about it. Yep. If you need to send a flare or something. Uh, so just a right before we get started here a couple quick reminders of tank operation uh, we're probably gonna be best suited if we fire from a stationary position approximately four direct hits is going to result in a tank a complete tank kill uh tank rounds do a well, fair amount of splash damage um, uh, you only have 40 rounds so use them makes the effectively we're spread out over a long area so we don't need to be shooting super far shots uh weak points on enemy tanks are their weapons and turrets if we can take that out essentially we knock that tank out of the battlefield uh also their tracks can be disabled and then they can't move so that's another good way to take them out of the fight you can use Z or Z uh, in any of your remote turrets to be able to zoom in, and then you can use the crosshairs and kind of gauge distance based on that. Uh, my rule of thumb, if something is about two and a half kilometers away with the main gun, you want to use the bottom of the of the crosshair to is where you want to aim for a shell drop. Uh, tanks have a very poor aim depression, so if you're on top of a hill, you have to crest the hill to be able to shoot anybody below it, which is not an ideal position to be in. So if at all possible, we want to force the other team to crest the hill and us be waiting for them. Uh, don't rely on target locks. You aim your main gun manually. Uh, you're going to be a lot more successful with that uh, as the aim doesn't doesn't account for hills and these kind of things and you can't better aim for enemy weak points uh the i don't know the max range for your slayer cannon but it's at least two and a half probably closer to three and a half kilometers so we've got some pretty good range on that thing and most tank radar spikes aren't going to show up until we're at least within a kilometer if not closer uh, so that's your little chevrons. However, you can scan and get the little boxes or whatever you call them uh, if, to kind of get an idea of where they may be. Uh, we just don't know for sure if it's a tank or not. So, um, yeah. Okay. All good stuff. Any of our people have any questions? No, I think we're good. Is there a quick key for that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I don't think one. so. There is not. All right. Uh, standby start X is at when the clock rolls over to, uh, to 53 minutes past the hour. All right. I'll hand start X at 53 minutes past the hour. What are we on right now? 52. Okay, cool. All right. Clean copy. I'm going to put out a Federation wide red alert. Yeah, take us about, yeah, that's a good direction, a little bit more to the right, yeah, there we go. And we're going to kind of keep going this way until we're about 
two and a half kilometers off to the right hand side of that center column there and then we'll start heading kind of northeast from there. to the right no and pain. now we're like completely in the wide open so yeah we're gonna yeah, head this direction and I'm gonna keep an eye on the horizon here we're about one click off to the right of 86 I do have a visual on their C2, kind of across this valley. Down to our left. So let's push up. There's kind of a valley coming up ahead here. So let's kind of push to the edge of that and hold there for now. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, just kind of up, up ahead here. And then we we'll want to keep an eye on that ridge in front of us for anything popping over. As well as to the left, it looks like 86 have gone down into the uh, valley here. Hey guys, uh, 86 going to be going just to the very right of this rather uh, big mountain. Yep. Up ahead on our left here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to climb that. Third, I don't know if you want to attempt that or if you want to go right with us around it. We'll get a little closer and evaluate. Copy that. At the very least, we'll be ahead of you then, so we can uh, keep our distance. So yeah, let's kind of form up in a uh, horizontal line um, heading uh, looking down into this valley and keeping eyes over watch uh, the column moving up the center of the map uh, here. So yeah, uh, Flex, you're good right about there. Galandari and Ian, you can keep pushing forward uh, a few hundred meters. Be uh, advised, Manku, we're coming up on the rear right now. We're about 2,000 meters away. Oh yeah, I see you guys there too. Um, great. Take the right flank. We yeah, take right flank. yeah. Take, take, go take far right. Take, take far deal. right. All right. All right. Good call. I think that flat hill way ahead of us is uh, going to be center. Okay, understood. Uh, then gray, maybe take. Just get far ready left. to 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 fill in uh, Bowman and okay. Furman there. Yeah. We can continue to cover far right if needed. Okay. So let's see, we got center pushing up. So let's keep moving forward in about this this kind of distance spread out. Uh, we'll keep pushing up and see if we can get to the top. Well, I don't know if we can get to the top of this really big ridge. It's somewhat ahead of us. Um, I think let's aim for this little ridge with the big rock sticking out of the middle. And 
and yeah, Ian, keep your eyes out to your guys' right. Um, so that could be a way that they, they come around this. I'm not sure how much further the map goes that way, but... And then let's shift to the right a little bit, go on the right side of this central, this ridge here, this ridge line. And there's that, that bit of a pass between the big hill and the small one in front of us. Is it gonna be to the right of the ridge? Correct, yeah. on that ship on the top of the hill. We're about seven clicks away from that. Um, yeah, tell me what you see up there, Ian, if you can see anything, because you got a little bit of altitude on us here. Yeah, not seeing any movement as far as I can tell. They're okay. So far, they're not pushing this right flank. Okay. Peace, peace. How are we going, Mr. Verm? Okay, let's keep moving up. Let's try and get on top of this hill to our right where Ian is, or Mr. Rice Guy. And then we can have some eyes over top. Looks like they are a little bit bad. Yeah, Galandar, you guys can follow us. All right, uh, Plenum's holding on this hill here. I think we're getting, if we're not at the center, we're very close to the center. Uh, the, we're gonna, we're gonna look around here. Keep moving forward. Okay. Uh, let's keep, let's move to the right a little bit more. Uh, Platinum Rabbit has eyes on their C2. I don't have a, a compass, so I can't give a bearing, but we're aiming right towards it. It's over two more hills past us. Good copy. Yeah, I've had eyes on it for a bit. I've been kind of using that as a guide for us. Oh, yeah, I think we're directly on the middle right now, guys. Captain Vinku, do we have fire clearance? Platinum Rabbit is, anyways. Yeah, if we if we see hostile targets and you got a clear shot, uh, go ahead awesome. and take it. Yeah. Thank you. So I believe the hey, sir, squadron, squadron, uh, squadron in front of us, 86. Uh, uh, I think we're pushing they think past they're the in the now. center. So, to my left. Um, yeah. So just for awareness on the map. Clean copy. We'll it's hold hard here. to tell. There's a bit of a hill. We were getting ready to peek over that and see if we saw anything. Headings or anything. Go ahead and move up on that hill. Platinum's pretty good at Find yourself a good maps, staging so. area wherever you think is good. I've got eyes on the enemy on that ridge right. across from us. Okay. Uh, like two Novas first squadron has eyes on enemies. Um, to, it would be to the right if we're using that C, C2 is it's to its far right on the ridge ahead um, okay I don't have eyes copy on copy that we're in a really good position for an ambush on them because we're holding high ground in the center if you guys hold high ground where you're at and let them come to you we can have a, a pretty good chance here okay 
Uh, so we're gonna hold here and see if they push us. Uh, 86 kind of has a good position to kind of ambush them if they start charging towards us. Um, let's see. Ian, can you point your nose at them or is your, is your nose pointed right at them? Hey, Wookie, what, are you guys seeing anything over there? Uh, third is not seeing anything yet. Um, we just I got to the tail and I'm starting eyes. to do a bit of a manual scan, but I think we might loop in towards you if you're seeing hostile. Oh, I did realize, sorry, I, I didn't realize I had that. Copy, idea. if, yeah, uh, well, if, if you guys don't if you turn to the see anything, uh, it would be really good if you went ridge. past That's us, so if I'm not took a right, and then moved around behind them, it would be a great flank, but the problem is, I don't know Okay, then those are ours, yeah, those are ours. And they could come up and then I'm trying to get their friendly tags. Copy that. So, correction, we do not have eyes on uh, the enemy, who's, uh, yeah. Copy that. We're gonna start pushing a little bit more towards that, uh, that C2, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, so they're gonna start pushing up a little bit, so we will also, we're gonna head to the right. Uh, Noah, C in front of us, kind of that bigger patch of trees with the big yes. mountain behind it. So we're gonna push to the right. There's a little bit of a dip to the right. Yep. We're gonna head that way. Yeah, just be careful moving down the hill. I don't know how you guys got past all these rock formations. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, yeah, everybody can else can follow us up here. Once we get down the hill, the rocks get So, um, third's got eyes on their C2, A2. It's about 18 clicks out, so I think that puts us just a bit short of the AO, right? Uh, we're on it as well. I think we're pretty well centered here, but I, I don't know for sure. So, let's keep pushing forward, guys. Yeah, we're, we're uh, right at the sort of edge of where you would say we're part of the group, but we're still with you guys. Guys, we're eight kilometers from our own. I just don't want to get too far separated. Remember how long of a distance was from our again. own landing zone to the uh, center? Okay. Oh, they have us at 15 kilometers from center. According to the map. Same time, Vancouver go first. Uh, they have us, so our assembly area is 15 kilometers from center. Copy, Wookie, your turn. I said the same time, sorry. Copy that. We're gonna we're gonna keep pushing forward, guys. Go ahead and uh, full speed ahead. We're too short of the center. Good copy. Alright, we got a ways to push ahead. Uh, the map changed a little bit what we first thought, so we still got about six, seven kilometers to push till we're in the center. I would say let's start turning a little bit to our left here, a little bit more, Noah, and yeah, about there, yeah. Platinum, I'm wondering if they use this C2 as their mark for the center. That would be, uh, yeah, that looks like it's in the center because I'm getting a ping for ships about 18 kilometers past that, which would be about what we're looking at. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so let's spread kind of wide There's around no that and then we're gonna go right center, not directly at it, just to the right of it a little bit. You guys go further right, and we'll keep you guys continue going left around. Yeah, that's fine. So I think we figured out that this C2 that's kind of right here is, they use that to mark the center. And they're, oh, sorry, uh, and they're 
their actual ships are about another 15 kilometers past that. So for now we should be right right about now we're at center of the map. And yeah, so we're swinging out to the right here, looking good. Uh, eight strike package has shots in the air dead ahead of our location. Um, we don't have eyes. Strike package enough. has shots in the air, so let's no, let's turn a little bit more to our left and see if we can get to a position to kind of get eyes on that. Um, try to come up, kind of come up to the ridge on the horizon Third here. down one tank. Uh, and then go for a twitch or just fighting a lot if, of DC. Uh, anybody, and, and then everybody else got can two form up on us. Out. So we're thirds down a tank, but we're going to do our best here. All right, uh, much sunlight strike package is engaged. They are right across this valley from us. Okay, strike package is engaged. They're right across the valley, so uh, keep eyes up. Um, I'd say we got about another 20 minutes. All right, they are on that minutes. center, that center ridge. They're just to the right, or well, I just got eyes on a Nova that was just to the right of okay. that. Okay, so yeah, stay here. Oh yeah, Nova. eyes on another Nova. Um, I think off to our. This ridge in front of us, try to get a eyes on. Yeah, they definitely have units near that C2. Um, so I believe they have units near that C2. But yeah, I've got potential targets uh, ahead of us. Don't have a target lock on them yet, but I do know. Yeah, those friendly. those ones up there are there's their ve their ships and they're still a ways away. No, I've got I've got tanks in my sight. That oh, okay. Hey, third, uh, you are now Ignore about that. at their distance. If you hooked a hard right, you would flank them from their right. Clean copy. There's a bit of a hill there that we can't cross, but we're going to loop around and go up that hill. Copy. Just watch your left once you do that. Okay. I'll be sure to confirm any uh, targets with Joel first because my uh, friendly markers are broken, my apologies. Okay. Not that I'm fired or anything. Yeah, that's not good. Alright guys, I believe that they saw us because they ducked behind some rocks and they have not come out since. They may be waiting for an approach. Platinum, just to get confirmation that you're, you're talking about the ridge that the C2's on there. Correct. It's just to the right of the C2, but it is the same uh, structure that the C2 is sitting on. Okay, good copy. All right, so yeah. I would say it's about four kilometers to the right of the C2 from my location. So they're about four kilometers, poss hostiles possibly four kilometers to the right of the C2 from Platinum, from 86th. Location, which Third, would put if you're them... moving directly for, towards that C2, the right, maybe... contact that we observed will be past you. Yeah, they're past somewhere you. in front of us. Probably they're on the other side Good of copy. the ridge that we're looking at right now. I think they probably back down. Um, once we get formed up here, um, I'd like us to push a little... Okay, we are formed up. Okay, I'd like us to push down into the right. There's kind of a little knoll. Yeah, let's let's head up to there and stay on the right side of that. All right, uh, first is pushing up. We're heading down to the valley. We're gonna try to move around to the right a little bit further, kind of come on the other side of this ridge. Copy that. We're gonna stand by till third makes contact, and then we're gonna push in. Yeah, keep eyes off to our left, probably. Yeah, 
Yeah, some of these rocks look deceptively like tanks. <laughs> so turn us a little bit more left here. Yeah. And then we kind of get to the foot of this next slight little hill we're gonna stop there Let's see anything. yeah so here's good okay scanning okay I do have a ping about 2.6 kilometers bearing 270, we got confident to com our we're left. confirming uh, targets at bearing 270 in the distance we're firing a few tracer shots okay um, the first or third One has target is waffle. confirmation on targets okay, yeah. there you go perfect fly Mako and waffle targeted so they're somewhere in between us All and right, our we're gonna start pushing up, to the uh, left. We're pushing to the right of that valley in front of us. Um, so uh, I think... Um, so I have something about 2.6, and I feel like that's a tank. So let's, yeah, push up to this next ridge, yeah. Got bearing 360 within a thousand meters of third battalion. We got at least a couple targets. Uh, we can move to the next one still. Copy that. We're moving uh, up keep eyes to the right, right as right well. I'm getting get some tanks to our right uh, side. Uh, okay, got eyes on eyes on tank on the ridge to the right. So we're gonna try um, to firing some tracers. Uh, first is engaged with two enemy tanks on a hill. We got two on that hill. Uh, Noah, you got guns. You got main gun. Okay. I'm just in the top gun gunner seat here. Um, whoever shot tank shell is third short. Is, yep, third is now engaged. They want, they're moving down below the ridge, so they're out this way. So there's, yeah, somewhere kind of the next ridge over in front of us. Um, they just moved below it. Got nothing in our sector of fire. It's still holding. All right, strike okay. package is about to be engaged with the guys that are exchanging fire with third. Yeah, sorry, that's, that's me. Um, so yeah, so they're they're up there. They're just below that ridge in front of us. Um, if I can get Ian and Galandari, or actually, who's there? We'll get Ian and yeah, uh, Galandari's tank to flank a little bit further to the right, and see if you can get eyes on the other side. Okay, I got I got actual proper radar pings. Okay, strike um, package has four units closing on it right now. If uh, third, if you can move up around those three that are closer to you. F12. Thank you. Yeah. Copy that. Third. So yeah, uh, keep heading a little bit further to your right there. Um, we got, I think we got tanks, yeah, in front of us and off to our left too, so. They're gonna be up on this this next hill in front of us. But yeah, move. Let's everybody move off to our right and see if we get around and over. Be advised, Miku, we're off at your Kay. five o'clock. Yeah, we got radar spike. Um, Darth Baki. And Jules Vega. They're yeah, they're on the other side of this ridge here. Okay, one's cresting, 
Stand by. And he just went back down. Yeah, there's three up there. Um, yeah, Galandari and Ian keep pushing, keep pushing right. Although our, we do have contact, direct contact going on on our left flank, be advised. Yep, yep, yep. Um, our other teams are engaging those. Is Phantom Boy one? That's hostile, hostile. Uh, Gray and Noah, let's push this cycle left. And let's kind of... Engaging Phantom Boy on the other side of this room. Yep. Coming up, cresting. Yep, Noah, get ready. Um, Jules is cresting in the center there soon. Third is completely surrounded at this point over on this side of the hill. Uh, Got fire on, on, shots on Jules Vega. Uh, shot was a little short. Oh, Sir, can you shit. push towards us? You're directly to our left. If you can push directly towards me. Third is. We're, uh, we're engaged with four of them, and we've already taken out one or two. Third's completely locked down. We got a lot there on that flank. Gatto and uh, Wookie are down, so I don't have eyes on anything at this point. Well, be advised, because of the night, I'll low visibility, so conserve yeah. ammo. Shot was too high. They're taking lots of damage. Keep hitting that tank there, yeah. A little high. Oh, good hit. That's a good hit. There we go. Target destroyed. Flash. One target down. All right. Keep uh, Darth Baki's cresting. He went back down. Uh, so yeah, Gray and Noah, let's keep pushing left. Um, good work on the right. Guys on the right, just stay there. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty gross. That's right a nice little variable, though. It affects everybody. We do have two hostile tanks off to our left, too, that are closing on us. Are they radar pingable? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I know we got targets to our right here. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on those tanks pushing off to our left. They are, they're kind of holding there. Yeah, try to get us to a shot. We need to push over this hill here. Looks like we're getting good PI, positive impact. Another splash, good kill. Got one more. Looks like he's one more ridge in front of us. Push up. Yeah, keep pushing, keep pushing. Um, yeah, okay. Not too bad. Hey, uh, 86 just took out both of their storms. Third still has uh, two tanks active. We've confirmed at least three or four destructions. I think they're going over. Yeah, they're going over. I'm told it's getting dark and harder to see. Yeah, let's let's push the issue on this guy. He's the only one left, and then we can go and help support the other guys because both teams are engaged here. I think he's over he's over the next one. He is closing. He looks like he's Let's uh, wait for him. I do see some shots off to our left side, more towards our other guys. Uh, 
Um, no, we got we can have shots on to the tanks on our left if you want to. All right, we've taken out about four or five Novas at this point and both of their storms. Good hit. Good copy. Uh, Platinum, we're shifting some fire onto the guys that you're engaging. Copy that. We don't have angle on him, but he can't hit us either. I see you guys over there. We are low on ammo, and That's both of hit. us are good dead. Uh, so it looks like the tank in front of us has disembarked, so we must have damaged them enough. All right, yeah, it's oh, only, uh, it's only me far. and uh, Drac in here. Oh, kind of. Noah, can we move a little bit closer so I can get in turret range? Uh, we took a uh, hit. Plant's got two of them chasing us. Uh, we're gonna try to lead him towards you. Yeah, let's try and get some cover, yeah. Let's try and get under a ridge here. They're kind of up on this ridge in front of us. Hard to tell, but... Yeah, the, the one right in front of us is engaging. Hey, sir, you guys just saved our ass. Good hits on those tanks. Yeah, no, hold here, see if you can get some shots on Lord Nidor. All right, uh, 86 is down to the oh, last we took a hit. We got three rounds left, so we're gonna charge and kind of do a comic. There we go, good hit. Here. Oh, we're down. If you can get close to third, we still got two tanks active if you want to combine your efforts. <clears throat> we're going to be out of ammo anyways after three more shots. Roger. Uh, first tank lead is down. Three tanks are remaining for us. All right, we just took out the one you were shooting at, so uh, that was the one closest. Uh, that's the one that's not dead, but we just took it, our, took it out. Our Bakke's okay. dead. Good, good. Uh, I think there's about two more that were out in the direction that No Leader and I were engaging. Um, I have confirmation from 86 that they did kill the one that we were shooting at, Noah. Yep, I saw that one go off right before it pulled me back. How's everybody doing? Everybody still alive? Nope. If you're alive, support. Gallarhorn's still in the fight. All right. Uh, Gray, I'm gonna pass squad lead off to you. Okay, are you down? Yeah, we're down, yep. Okay. If you need me All to right. relay anything to the other teams, let me know and I can do so. Yeah, right now we've got almost zero visibility. All right, uh, we are group on bingo on ammunition here, um, so we're just gonna use our... As far as I know, our lines have lasers. not been broken, correct? Correct, yeah. All, we still have tanks in each squadron. Um, both are down in numbers. Uh, 86 in the center is bingo on ammo so uh, I would suggest if you can and don't have any hostile targets to try and regroup with them as they'll need support so that's platinum thug, uh, not Douglas um, let's see who else all right all you have forces we're gonna converge on platinum try to keep spacing <clears throat> and uh, maintain uh, sectors of fire hole. Uh, Platinum, I'm sending the remainder of first over to support you guys. Copy that. We're just using our badges at this really point. We're out of ammo. Good side. copy. Yeah, they're throwing me all over the place. Yeah, I'm trying to get a good visual. It looks like we're converging on the enemy, but I can't confirm. We just took out another one. Yeah, we're getting thrown all over the place. Jones McZack is the last one we see over is here. Mr. Rice guy, one of ours. Friendly. Third That's Ian. Okay. Position. Okay. You guys want to keep pushing? Uh, I think third is completely eliminated at this point. They didn't have much left over there. Until we rendezvous with the fleet. Copy that. Yeah, he's near one of your guys' down vehicles. We're uh, we're Copy. distorted, waiting on. Copy. So third on the left side 
has been third uh, squad has been eliminated um so it's just you guys and 86 which is very low on ammo but i think we do have the upper hand in terms of numbers so okay. uh if you have a chance i would say push it absolutely galandari yep. and noah you guys go ahead and push from the right there's somebody on right, the far first, right of i don't them, know how many of them are remaining them to but also we push right and provide support for them. Of them so far and we're <laughs> there's only one left over here we're still engaging Good copy. Yeah, we took out most of a, a group of them, or an entire group of them, and, and when we started shifting over, that's when we started taking some hits. Copy. Yeah, we have, uh, we have I don't know how many we've killed. 12 o'clock. They've got to be running low. You got something. This Jones and McZack guy that we're shooting at, he might be their last. I don't see anyone else. All right, we're going to try to push their position as soon as we get in one. Confirming Igor of Thug is not friendly, right? Friendly, friendly. Got it. All right, Platinum is distorted, oh, and the last guy, lights, you guys are pushing right soon. up to him. You got eyes on? Yeah, the sun just set, so it's going to be dark for a while. Damn. Um, be advised, Platinum has been uh, distorted, so keep... Uh, it looks like... All, I thought... I'm pretty sure all their tanks had distortions on their top, which is a good strategy, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, keep, a, keep an eye for, like, blue lasers, essentially. Copy that. All right, do we have any uh, locks on them? I see some coming off the uh, yeah, I'm 10 o'clock to me. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah 10 o'clock on me right now. You guys are doing great. If we, uh, we surround him here, which we pretty much have him, he's, he's toast. Yeah, keep pushing, Greg. Keep pushing. And he's coming out. Uh, all teams be advised. Uh, we're setting index at 40 after the hour, so that is in nine minutes. coming over this ridge we're gonna keep him from running from you dead good kill guys good splash, splash. i think that Not might us. be yeah, game splash nice uh, as far as 86 can tell, they have no other eyes on hostiles at the moment. Copy that. I don't have any either. Anybody else from the UF got any eyes on enemy? No eyes here. All right. Let's make sure the area is secure before we initiate all clear. How many First do we have down from also ours? not have any There's eyes two, on two hostiles. Tanks? So our uh, tank I, is that down. Right yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Should've All right, so including Jeremy, so uh, can... we killed three Storms and six Novas. There was a flight friendly fire incident. All right. Uh, doing a radar Frontier has been eliminated. Well done, Northfield we, and confirm, Allies. Uh, index from the confirmed. Other side if they've been completely taken off. All the right, board. we are index Woo! confirmed. All hostiles down. All clear. All Woo! clear. Wow. Amazing work, team. Mr. Noah, can hey, you initiate uh, for, can all you clear send one of your on boys over to Platinum Rabbit and Igor? We are Good distorted Lord. and cannot move. All right. 
We need to set course back to our ships. Um, yeah, we can send. Casualty report, damage report. Gray, can you please go and pick up? We have a couple guys in the field distorted tank. That's Platinum's tank. If you can go pick them up and give them a ride back. Absolutely. Uh, who's the closest to his Platinum Rabbit? Anybody Correct. Yeah, us? yeah, that, that's Plat. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess we're the closest. So. Uh... Um, if you don't have anybody to pick up and you are uh, in the field, go ahead and make your way back towards our uh, escort. However, everybody may not know which direction that is, and it's going to be really hard to do at night. So if we do figure out where that actually is, which direction we're going, just try to follow the uh, vehicle in front of you. I have a Third squad, can I get a, a sit yeah, rep on, on are you guys team. confirmed all down? Okay. Accurate. Same Good stuff. Can you ask Platinum? No, we just down, pulled up correct. on his position. Um, the lost in space. And 86, and, uh, how many do you have left gray? in the field? Yep, we just flashed our lights. We only had one Nova. It's distorted, so we're getting in with gray. Good copy. Oh, I'm driving into a rock, of course. And just confirm we have. Our squadron has two left in the field, two tanks. Uh, I think so. That sounds okay. right. The fact that we won that battle is one thing. The fact that we did it completely blinded is another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus, great work, everybody. Great work. Uh, are there any uh, of our element that is still grounded on foot that needs to pick up as before we head out of the area? Uh, I'll get confirmation. Copy. Thank you. Uh, is there anybody else from any other teams that needs to pick up on the way back to the ships? Aside from your team, me and Drac, or me and Igor were the only survivors from that was the other intense. team, so we're, we're Jesus probably Christ. good. All right, yeah, confirmation, no other people on the ground, so we're good to, All right. you guys are good to go. Yep, we're good to set course back to the uh, escort, so I'll see you guys back at ship. Say the terrain was really bad at night, though. Like you couldn't even know if there was like a little ridge in front of you. Sometimes. Yeah, and they got to be better about CIG has to be better about like what tanks can drive over. It's like tanks should be able to drive over these little ass rocks. And not fly off. Yeah, the, not they fly in the space. Stay on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it's like come on, dog. vision windshields yeah that that's another thing like we should have some form of NVG um, technology in the future yeah, like yeah well, we had that in the Vietnam War it's like why would we not have that <laughs> in 900, 900, 900 years from <laughs> or a thousand can you, can you number a second Hey, Galandari, can you stop for a second? I glitched out of the tank over the rock bed. Yep. <laughs> <I'll see>. After you. <laughs> Am I far from you or are you close? Um, you're 130 meters from me. So hang on, I'm running up here. That's ridiculous. I just glitched out of the tank. It's like, nope. <laughs> You know what's funny is I was thinking while we were in the battle, like, should we use our lights on our vehicles? And then I realized, no, that's just a giant bullseye target. You can't do that. Right. That was the, the challenge. Fire? Like, do we see where we go, or do we let the or, or and let the enemy see us, or do we just keep going blind? Right. Exactly. That's exactly right. Or you right. get down I, in a valley and you flash them. Just like. Yeah. Can I even get out? <laughs> Yeah, I just saw something fly into space. I don't know if that was a Welcome ship or what. To but... Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Are you good? 
Okay, I am in a seated position. Yes, go for it. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. I was trying to repair the tank. Your insurance claim has been sent. Your vehicle will come to the ASOP vehicle return. Hey, can you ask Gray to stop? Uh, I fell out of the you tank were, when we flipped over. Uh, Gray, can you stop again. Platinum fell out of the tank when you rolled over? Oh, yep. How far is he away? I'm not sure. Um, oh, how I far are you away, Platt? Just got in. Oh, you're good. Okay. Anybody else take some direct shots during that battle? Yeah, we did. We took two directions. Three. Yeah, we took one. We took, yeah, we took one. a single shot, but it, for as far as the reporting is, our tank is completely undamaged. No okay. way. Well, there were some fires in there. Did I repair it, or did you? Did we get any damage ever at any moment? Oh, I have. I haven't checked ours. Welcome. Well, ours is like ASOP sparkling and system. looks like it's smoking, so we definitely took damage. Your insurance the only damage I have right now sent. is what I just got from trying to jump another tank that was <laughs> We got a shot of uh, all of the escort ships and the, the, you know, the fleet when we were in coming to space, mm -hmm. like, it's like a massive shot of like, I don't know, 10 birds and like 20 tanks on the field. Yeah, it's so good. It's really dope. That'd be a cool recruiting poster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Join the UEE army. Especially if we can coordinate like that, like we just did in the field. I mean, that's that's pretty impressive. Yeah. It's always a lot going on, depending on kind of where you sit in the command chain. But as long as you're able to kind of manage the level of uh, comms traffic flow, solid. And all, honestly, if the one simple thing to make that so much easier is if they mm -hmm. actually added a compass to the vehicles. Right. And and that's coming 323, right? With the new map, I think. I think yeah. so. I'm, I, yeah, I think all sure planets that. have bearings and, yeah. and sort of pole locations now, so. I'd love a mini map, too. That'd be pretty cool. Yep, me too. Hey, and uh, imagine if we're able to put this many into track. the field, you know, going to a tank battle, imagine how many we can put into the field going to pyro. Yeah. Uh, be That's advised, Platinum Rabbit's right uh, game crashed. So. He's, Did he? Uh, yeah, he's. he's Is he still in the? I wonder if he's still in the in the. He might be. I'm not sure vehicle. he'll come back or not. But. Okay. Well, it looks like whoever was sitting in that seat back there is still in there, so. Okay. How far did we travel when we were when we were on our convoy? I think about 15, 13. Yeah, that was a, that was a yeah. legitimate convoy right there. Hey, uh, Vinku, how many of your guys' Novas survived? Uh, we still had yeah, two Novas in operation. And AA tanks involved now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So it was actually yeah, imagine a, 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 from yeah, above. I was just going to say uh, that. Imagine our air attack engaging their air attack form, right above us while we're also the engaging their tank and their infantry. Yeah, it was here. pretty close. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. It's the dream. That's the dream right there. And especially when Should you're talking we, uh, about protecting your, let's say, settlement or your base. Yeah. 
central comms, I mean, like, should we jump up the wolf? Uh, give us a couple minutes while the tank drives back, uh, so they can coordinate that, and then, then we can debrief a little bit, yeah. Clean copy. It's crazy, too, because when everybody was parking the birds, you could kind of see it sequentially. Everyone just parked next to each other in the right sort of uh, formation style. It's dope. That was so cool. Yeah. All right, folks, and we're going to wrap it up there. So this was Northfield, Gallahorn, and Unified Federation versus Frontier Consolidated. It was a very awesome event. Thanks to Frontier for joining us in this event. We had a lot of fun. It's always a very exciting time to be able to roll tanks and just have a big tank battle. And so, yeah, thanks for joining us, and have a good one out there. Be safe.